So what I've got to do today is, I haven't been able to use this room in eight years. Yes. Because it's either been filled with other people's stuff, the roof was leaking, or the flooring was non-existent. So things are coming together, and I am running out of funds for this project. So I'm going to use what I have. And what I have is, I have bat insulation that has facing on it. I'll be right back. But I have a lot of insulation left over and absolutely nowhere to use it. Um, this is the insulation that I put in the walls, but it's going to go in the ceiling. We tried to get blown in insulation. You can get a little bit in, but basically it just will not, you can't get full coverage in this room. So now that the ceiling is gone, and for those of you who don't know, this ceiling is an addition to the back of the house. And if you look right here, that right there is actually the soffit, stucco soffit for the out, for the uh, outside. And it goes around here. I've got to clean that. That mold has been sprayed. It has been treated. But this is the exterior of the house. They added on this right here. And that's what i got to insulate. We cannot get bone-in insulation back here. So I have all this insulation. Some people can handle insulation with no problem, without any protection at all. I'm not one of them. So I got my long sleeve shirt on, and I got my mask. And Mr. Cooper came out here to supervise. There you are. All right, so let me get this up.
I'll be back when all the insulation settles down. All right, I have changed my mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this insulation back out, put it in contractor bags, and put it in the rafters of the breezeway. I just think that would be a better idea. I talked to a couple of people whose opinion I trust. They said this would be okay, you know, using the this insulation up here, but just don't let it touch this, you know, the roof. And then I got to thinking about it. Well, you know, what if one day, and with inflation the way it is, just go ahead and just take it down and do the right thing and put the right stuff in here. So I went to Home Depot and this is what I got. I just broke down and went ahead and got this R30 unfaced insulation. <clears throat> And I'm just going to do this the right way. I think I will be doing a vapor barrier as well. I saw what Matt of the Fixer did to his ceiling. And I think that would be a good idea for this ceiling as well. And it's low enough to where I'm not going to have to get up on a ladder with this vertigo, vertigo that I'm suffering from. So, um, I do have to take care of one little issue before I get started. But if you look right here, I've got three or two or three, I see two, see their yellow mouths? Wrens. So this wren has built a nest in here. And you gotta watch my step, right? Mama is getting in here through this opening. And I'll try to put you up here. The soffit has a hole in it. And there she is here. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was cool. And she's also getting in from up there. And I've got someone coming over to fix both of those issues. And, but I can't close this bay right here. I know mama, she's coming. Let me let, get out of here, let her feed her babies. But um, I can't insulate that bay right there until those birds have flown the coop. So I'll just do uh, from here over to here and then that little corner right there and just leave that opening right there. I could do it to just that one little section right there. I think that's what I'll do. So let me let her go uh, feed those babies. She's got a bug in her mouth and I'll be back. Mama, I know, I know, but I've got to do this today. Oh, that bird. That poor wren, I know, but I've got to get this done today because it's cool outside. I live in the south and cool days are not very often. But unlike the last insulation, when I put all this crap up, when I put all this up, I didn't wear, you know, eye protection except for my glasses and I was getting itchy. So I found these. The, somebody must have really had a big head because I've had to pull them way out just tighten up the band back here but anyway they're kind of scratched up it's like looking through a really dirty windshield and instead of wearing that respirator I'm just going to get this mask right here so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this down and put it in these what do I do with them put them in these contractor bags right here as best I can and put them in the rafters of the breezeway and just use them later because I kind of started feeling guilty about just wasting that insulation. Um, if I would have put in the pink, it would have pushed all that and all of this insulation up against the roof, which you can't do. Um, Mama, I know. I know, baby. Anyway, so I'm going to cover up the baby birds because I don't want them breathing this in. Um, I keep letting her come in and out. I guess we're just going to have to take turns. She's right here. There you go. You'll probably see her coming in and out as I'm talking to you. But she comes in and out right here. So, um, 
to keep her to let to, to let her keep feeding her babies I'm just gonna do a little bit leave do a little bit leave there she is hey mama she's like you know I don't care like what you're doing lady I'm gonna go here and feed my children and good for her I think she trusts me enough knowing that I come in and out of here and I've never done anything all right sorry about the lighting it's all I got Stitch these on. There we go. There we go. I got these coveralls from Amazon, and it was an idea from the handyman. And if I can find the link, I'll put it down below in the description box. So let's go. Now obviously I've got to get some insulation straps or just some wire coat hangers in to support that. So, but I did pretty good. It's not touching the roof. And now I gotta get the rest of it done. All right, this bay, this bay right here is too wide. So I'm just gonna have to wing it. This is not quality craftsmanship here. So I'm working with what I got. I'm working with what I have and this bay is too big so I'm gonna go in there just put some in there and I'm gonna have to cut a section uh, where am I going you know on the side a sliver if you will just to fill it in
birds are covered. I had to leave a little bit of gap for the mom to get in. Give myself a break because my hands are just sweating, just dripping in sweat, and my glasses are all fogged up. I can't see what I'm doing from all the condensation, and I'm hot. But I got to keep going. I can only just break for a few minutes because it's going to be so hot that I can't won't be able to work out there later. So I only got one roll left. Apparently, this is going to cost a lot of money, but. What can you do, you know? So I'm gonna take a break, get something cold to drink, and then we'll get back at it. I probably need about three more rolls of this insulation. Maybe, yeah, three. Because I still have to go in between where they're not evenly spaced out. And this is why I wanted to talk to you for a second. For all you people out there that are doing DIYs and not caring what happens 20, 40, 50 years from now, just kicking the can down the road, that's not cool. Because this wouldn't have been such a problem to begin with if this was built up to code. There are codes for a reason. Things last longer and, you know, if something does happen, it's easily repaired. This is a nightmare. I mean, the whole addition is a nightmare. The roof was is insane you see this you see how they framed it all that stuff um, I can't get in from up above to insulate it you can't shoot insulation back there if you have blown in so you have to do it from the you know the ground and then you're tearing the sh out of the insulation as you're sliding it and there's nothing I can do about it and I don't have anybody to help me because everybody's at work and this is my day off and, you know, I've got this vertigo issue with this crystal rocking around in my ear. So bending over, holding things up over my head, all that stuff just makes that rock just rock around and I'm getting motion sick. Now I'm nauseated. I don't feel like going back in there, but I've got to. And if I take a, an anti-nausea medication, then I get constipated. And then I have to take another medicine to get unconstipated. Getting old just sucks. Anyway. Um, I didn't mean to get on a tirade. But seriously, just do it right the first time. If you don't know how, YouTube it. I know I've done some things around the house, but I was learning that as I was going. This, These were grown men, and I remember who they were. They knew better. They just didn't want to take the time. Let's just get it up, get it built, and be done with it. Because I know somebody real close to me who's exactly like that. That roof is heating up because the sun came out. It's starting to heat up, so where I'm working, I'm in all that heat. So let's go. The issue I'm running into is that I've got room for the full thickness to until I get to this piece right here because this is the first addition they put on the back of the house. That's why this light is not centered within the room. So this was the first addition. So I'm having to contend with that right there because now I have to cut the batting in half or what I could do since it would probably be the same R value if I split the pink stuff in half as it would be if I were to put the R15 insulation up there so that I think that's that's what I should do they added this on here first and then came back and then added all this on so I can use the R30 here 
the R15 here. So it's going to look wonky. Drywall's put up. No one will ever know except for YouTube. But what I decided to do is get these bats back out. And I'm going to push them as far back up here as I can. That way. Sorry, it was a piece of tape blowing in the wind. Uh, so that way it gets to back to where the original roof is. So that's what I'm going to do is just take a whole bat, shove it just as far back there as I can. Because there is just a tad bit of blown in insulation. Uh, and that's basically just the old soffit. And, but it is now inside of a, a, an enclosed area. So I'm going to just shove it in there and be done with it. I'm going to do all full sheets and then after that I'll come back and do around this light fixture which needs to be moved and put in the center of the room. Um, I think I'm just going to be doing all uh, probably three foot shop lights in here for lighting. I'm just going to come back and do that this one section right here. But I'm going to do all full and come back and piecemeal that together. And people wonder why I've got to get done with this room. I can't have wildlife coming in and out of this house because they get in the main house, they die, and it's just not right. So I've really got to get this done.
I know that this, oh Lord have mercy. I know this looks all jacked up, but you know, it's just, I have to work with what I've got. I'm just, it's just unbelievable how piecemeal this was put together and then now I've got to piecemeal it to get it somewhat fit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off right here where I don't, where, I mean where the uh, first edition roof is. It ends about right here. So I'm going to cut this this insulation off and lay half, lay it on halfway. Uh, just put it halfway over this strapping right here. That way when I put the pink insulation, it'll have a place to rest on the end as well. So let me get all this cut. When the electrician gets here I can determine I can make a decision on where I want all my new boxes for lighting because I'm gonna be doing a lot of YouTube videos in here the installation I'm gonna be putting here is not gonna be permanent Now I got something else living in here, so I gotta go get her or him, whatever it is, and put him out.
This is the only way I have left. I piecemealed and quilted the R15. I got it finished. So I got the R15 up, and as you can see, it's sagging. Then I got the R30, as you can see, it is sagging as well. Let me go in this direction. There you go. So it sags, and none of these furring strips that are already up here are spaced evenly, so it just made this whole project just so painfully long. And I think what else I'm going to do is where the R15 is, is blow in some insulation before I close the, the, the ceiling up and just blow in insulation where the addition meets the back of the house and fill in all that gap. I try to throw remnants back there, but I'm gonna just blow it all, wherever there's R15, just blow in some more insulation. And this is the furring strip I will be using. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop right here. Um, I just wanted to really see how it would look, and I think it looks okay. Sorry about the compressor in the background. But I'm still, I think I'm gonna wait. I just can't make up my mind. Insulation. I need to go to Home Depot get some more insulation. And all of this is level. I mean, all of it. There's no 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 lippage, so the ceiling should sit nice. All right, what I'm going to do with this all this insulation is I'm going to put it on top of the other insulation in the den just to add some more R value. And it keeps it out of the landfill because this stuff doesn't break down. I mean, it doesn't even burn. So I'd rather it be in my attic, helping me keep cool than to be in a landfill somewhere. All right, all I have left to do is fill in these two bays. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave this one open because we've got some major rains coming and this will prove whether or not I still have leaks. Uh, so let me just get these right here done and I'll put up some strapping and oh yeah I gotta do over here too. Sorry I'm trying to go slow. Got this little spot right here and I can't close that one yet because that's where the bird comes in and out. So let me get this done.
right now that I'm done with this, I'm just going to roll it up. And I'm going to put it somewhere where I can use it later. All righty. Here you go. It is done. I just need my electrician to come in here. I'm going to be running three foot shop lights in here for lighting uh, because this is afternoon and this is all the light I have in here and I plan on using this a lot for YouTube. My drywall guy is going to come in and put the vents in before he puts up the ceiling and he's going to finish the drywall in here. I have this to do, but at least the floors are finally fixed. I'm not going to clean up in here or organize until I'm ready to make this into a shop and I cannot do that until this is drywalled and the room is painted. Then I can put in countertops and shelves and stack all my stuff. But for right now, this is what it is. I'm so glad this is done. This has been eight years in the making. It's unconventional, but I didn't waste any insulation. I got to use every single bit of it and I'm so happy. I'm able to regulate the temperature in this room. I haven't seen any leaks and I'm just so tickled. So now I can use this room. I'm just ecstatic. So guys, I appreciate you being here with me on this project. And if you found it interesting or entertaining, please hit that like button down below and leave some comments if you have any. And don't forget to subscribe. And guys, I will see you in the next.